My name is Lauren Ward, and I've been serving as an activist and advocate for issues of domestic and sexual violence for 18 years. I've always been especially interested in and passionate about protection orders, and that's what today's video is about. A protection order, or PO, is an order from a judge through court to protect people from domestic violence, sexual assault, and harassment. They're free of charge and last one year if approved, and some types can even be renewed. Once you submit an application for a protection order at your county's courthouse, the paperwork will then be shown to a judge who gets to decide if the protection order will be issued or not. It's always up to the judge and is not a guarantee, so it's critical that your application is as complete as possible. To apply for a protection order, you'll need a valid photo ID, the first and last name and address of the person you're applying for a PO against, and if you have any evidence, be sure to include or describe it in your application. Evidence could be text messages, pictures of injuries, the names of people you've told or who have witnessed it, social media screenshots, etc. These types of evidence are not required, but they'll certainly make your application stronger. You do not need to have reported to the police, but of course that is always your right. You also do not need an attorney to get a protection order. Protection orders are handled in civil court, not criminal court. Just like a divorce or child custody is also done in civil court. So many survivors are hesitant to seek a protection order because we don't want the other person to get into trouble, a totally normal and common concern. This is what I tell survivors I work with. It's issued in civil court and will only cross into criminal court if the other person makes the decision to violate it, and that's on them. In Nebraska, we have three types of protection orders, domestic abuse, harassment, and sexual assault. The biggest thing to note here is that if you've had any close relationship with the person you're applying against, it's recommended that you apply for a domestic abuse protection order as it offers you more potential protection. A relationship might be a relative, someone you've dated, someone in your family by blood or marriage, or anyone you've lived with. With that, you can ask the judge to prohibit the other person from certain addresses. So be sure to list home, work, daycare, school, and so on. A harassment protection order does not depend upon a relationship and can be against someone who has seriously terrified, threatened, or intimidated you. A sexual assault protection order also does not depend upon a relationship and can be applied for when the other person sexually assaulted you or attempted to. The heart of your application is what I call the narrative. First of all, forget these limiting sections. Just write, please see attached and type or write up what's happened to you on separate pieces of paper. This is where you can tell your story to the judge. Give some context and start at the beginning of where it started to go bad. Each incident should be lettered A, B, C. Reference any evidence you have in this section too. Consider this your chance to demonstrate to the judge in writing, one, what you've survived, two, how it's impacted you, your life, and your safety, three, why you need the court to get involved, and four, why you think the behavior will continue or why you think you're at risk if you don't get this protection order issued. Try to illustrate each of these points in each incident. I know it's a lot, but local advocates are ready to assist you and are experts in these applications. This can't be overstated. Having a solid application that really reflects to the judge what you've endured is the key. I highly recommend reaching out to your local advocacy organization for help. Here in Omaha, that would be the Women's Center for Advancement or the Omaha Douglas County Victim Assistance Unit. If you decide to apply on your own, you can view all the forms necessary on the Nebraska Supreme Court website, or you can pick them up at your county's courthouse. Thanks so much for watching. I'm wishing you safety and freedom.